everybody and welcome back to another edition of the Valley Vlog. My name is Callan Forrester and if you don't know already, this is a video series done by The Cleaner where I try out fun quarantine activities that you can do from the safety of your own home while still feeling connected to your community. Today I am so excited to announce that we will be honoring the Quebecois classic maple syrup. With the amount of snow we still have right now, it's really hard to imagine but spring is on its way. So today I'm going to show you three things that you can do with maple syrup right from the safety of your own home. But before we begin today, I want to take a second to talk about our local sugar shacks. Now last year the pandemic fell right at the beginning of sugar season and lots of our local valley businesses were hit incredibly hard. This year with all the government restrictions still in place, sugar shacks still can't open the way they usually would. But have no fear because with your help, sugar season can still live on. Many places around the valley have adapted their business to include takeout and prepackaged maple goods this year. We have a whole special section about it in this week's edition of The Gleaner. So make sure to check it out as a guide for how you can shop local and how you can help our valley vendors stay open this sugar season. Now, let's get started. All right, the first thing we're gonna do today is make breakfast, but we're not just making the traditional maple breakfast that you're used to. I'm about to show you how to make spiced maple pears with pecans and yogurt. This recipe is so quick and easy, so delicious, and a great way to spice up your morning. All you'll need for this recipe is pears, butter, cinnamon, cardamom, maple syrup, pecans, and Greek yogurt. The first step to this recipe is peeling and dicing two small pears or one large one. Next, melt your butter in a saucepan and saute your pears with the cinnamon, cardamom, and maple syrup for a couple minutes until they just start to soften. I wish you could smell this right now. This smells so amazing and it's looking so good. Once the pears are soft, go ahead and add your pecans and cook until they're just warmed through. Now all you have to do is put your mixture on top of your yogurt and enjoy. Okay, I mean, how beautiful is that? <gasps> oh my goodness. All right, time for a taste test. I'm gonna make sure I get a little bit of everything. Oh my God. <gasps> this is my new go-to breakfast. I, uh, I can't even express, oh, <gasps> I'm so excited. <laughs> Now that we've had breakfast, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to make maple soap. You only need two things to make this soap, a plain bar of soap and some maple syrup. Okay, as weird as this sounds, the first step to making this soap is taking your bar of soap and grating it with a cheese grater. Once that's done, you're gonna take your soap and put it in a metal bowl, then place that bowl on top of a boiling pot of water to melt the soap. Once your soap is completely melted, add about a tablespoon of maple syrup. Once that's thoroughly combined, pour your soap mixture into a silicone mold and let it harden completely. All right, it's the next day. My soap has reformed. It smells just like maple. I am so excited to try it. My hands are clean. They smell just like maple. I'm gonna call this a success. Now, while our soap is resting, it's time to move on to our final activity. Now, no maple season would be complete without maple taffy. To make it from home, all you need is some fresh snow and some maple syrup. Heat your maple syrup on the stove until it's boiling and then immediately bring it outside and pour it on the snow. It should start to harden right away and you'll be left with that maple candy that we all know and love. Okay, you can see it's boiling. We're gonna try to see if this works. Okay. I'm gonna try to get this. Oh, it's definitely, okay. Well, it's a little hard to, to twirl it properly, um, but it definitely is taffy. Can you hear it? It's making the sound. Mmm! <laughs> it definitely doesn't have the exact texture of maple taffy that you get at a sugar shack, but I think it's a great home alternative and it still tastes delicious. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend trying this out. I think this would be really great to do with kids as well. That concludes this week's edition of the Valley Vlog. Thank you so much for watching. But before we go, we have to remember to put something in our Good Things of 2021 jar. This can be something big or small. It's just about celebrating something positive every week. 
This week I put in that I baked a batch of cookies that were the best cookies I have ever made. I wish I could share them all with you. And let me know in the comments down below, what do you wanna see me do next? And what did you put in your good things jar this week? Another reminder to shop local this sugar season and to help keep our local businesses thriving. And as always, please stay safe, stay healthy, take care of each other, and I'll see you very soon.